Hi guys, welcome back to another training program. My name is John Jamison. I'm the author of the Perpetual Wealth System. Today I want to talk to you about dollar cost averaging. Now don't click off. It sounds boring. I'll make it very simple. And more importantly, I have to teach you about dollar cost averaging so I can teach you about its vicious twin called reverse dollar cost averaging. Here's what dollar cost averaging is, as simple as I can possibly make it. Right? They're going to tell you that, hey, if you have put $200 a month away inside your 401, that's, let's just say, it's monthly. Many of you are doing more than that, but you get the example. Okay? That 401 is going to purchase shares of a mutual fund. And that mutual fund price for those shares will always be up and down, depending on what the market does. So, if you're putting in periodic payments, a steady stream of payments, dollar cost averaging simply means that sometimes you're going to purchase these shares at a higher price, and sometimes you're going to purchase them at a lower price. And if it's at a lower price, it's actually good because you'll buy more shares. So, very quickly, the same $200, if it's $20 a share, okay, you bought 10 shares of it. Well, next month, if it's only $7 a share, you bought more shares. Same token, if it went up to $12 a share, you bought less shares. So over your working lifetime, during your accumulation phase of life, which as we said in our other videos, is from, from around 20 to 60, don't worry if the market goes up or down, because when it's down, you're going to buy more shares. So you'll have more shares that you own when the market goes up. Now, there's really nothing wrong with the whole concept. It actually does make sense. I personally think it was more brought up to, to make you feel good when the market's down because the old saying is, hey, it's only a loss if I sell. And that can be true. So during those times, maybe you do want to buy more shares. If you believe in the company, you believe in the fund, no argument with it. The argument I have is they never tell you the other side of the coin, which is reverse dollar cost averaging. You see, dollar cost averaging assumes that you're always in wealth accumulation phase. You're in this range from you know 20 to 60 when you're accumulating money, but there's going to come a time that you want to start pulling money out to help you fund a retirement, to help you be able to travel and do things with your kids and grandkids and all these things that we don't, a lot of times don't have the time to do during our working lifetime. That's why we develop a nest egg to help us in our retirement. Okay? So let's say we've developed a nest egg, and let's just say it is 300 grand that we have inside our 401ks. Now we want to retire. And hopefully we've got some other things put aside, but this is what we have in our 401k. And we decide we want to take $20,000 a year out to help us retire. Okay? So we're going to pull $20,000 a year out of this account. Now, meanwhile, the $300,000, remember where it is, it's in mutual funds. And those funds are going up and down. All right? So the first year, we pull out $20,000 out of the account. And let's just say that the whole market went heavily down that year. And you lost 10% of your money in market losses. So you lost thirty dollars you took out 20 grand, so 20K for income. The account lost 30 grand because that's what those accounts do. Now, what are you left with? You're left with 250 grand after one year. Now, people will tell you, yeah, but it could go up as well. Sure, it could, and it will go up and down. One thing I can guarantee you about the stock market is it'll go up. And I can also guarantee you that it will go down. I just can't guarantee you when and how much it's going to go up and down by, neither can anybody else. Anybody that thinks they can is delusional. Never been able to be done. They're, if they're selling you that kind of stuff online, they're selling you programs online. They're not doing it. Okay. So next year, you take another $20,000 out. And by the way, when a bear market starts, it can last a while. We just got through one. And we're going to go through another big one here, some people are predicting. So let's say it's the next year you needed to take your $20,000 out and the account lost another 10%. We had accounts lose 50, 60% of their value here in the last few years. So it's not out of the question that can happen. So the next year you take out your 20 grand, you lose another 10%, which at this point the value is only 25 grand, so you lost another 25 in market losses. Look at that, guys. All of a sudden, you're down to 205,000. But guess what? It's worse than that. Because if you want to take out, if you want to live on twenty thousand dollars out of that account, you have to take out more. Because guess what? You owe tax on the twenty that you take out. So you had to take out probably thirty to get your twenty. See? 
So when you tell me you've got $300,000 in a 401k, no you don't. Because you have a partner inside that 401k and the partner is Uncle Sam. So when you pay tax out of this, I promise you now you're down to 190 grand after two years. See, this is reverse dollar cost averaging. Now you're cashing in shares at a lower rate and you're not accumulating them because you're not in accumulation mode anymore. And all of a sudden, your retirement account is getting eaten alive between market losses, withdrawals, and taxes. This is a reality for millions of Americans out there, but it doesn't have to be. You see, guys, if you took that $300,000 and knew how to position it and put it in a product that couldn't go down, that gave lifelong income, that went up every year, those products exist. You just haven't been made aware of them until now. If you don't look into them now, I can't help you. I can only lead that horse to water. If you won't even at least take a drink, I can't help you. But this is called dollar cost averaging and reverse dollar cost averaging. And reverse dollar cost averaging is eating your retirement alive, whether you know it or not. It doesn't have to be that way. Join us at the Perpetual Wealth Club. Reach out to us. We'd love to tell you more about these things and train you more. We do that at Perpetual Wealth Club. And you know we help people from all over this country. So get in touch with us. There's all kinds of contact information on the video. Reach out to us. We'd love to show you how to use dollar cost averaging as you've done, but don't have to be a victim to reverse dollar cost averaging. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Jamison. I'm the author of the Perpetual Wealth System. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next training. Bye-bye now.